Hi, I'm Martin from Heating Solutions and today I'm going to talk to you about filling, venting and pressure testing. Now we've been working with Upanor now for about 15 years doing underfloor heating and on this installation we've been installing the superb Upanor Minitec overlay system that can be used for retrofit or new build applications. Um, we've got a four port manifold with four circuits of the Upanor Minitec 9.9mm pipe and on the end of it then we've got an Upanor water temperature control and pump set. Uh, there's no primary pipe work coming to the manifold at the moment, but we have got a gas boiler that will be feeding this manifold, so that's why we need the water temperature control. So we're going to do some live filling, venting and pressure testing. Uh, before we get there though, it's important just to do a few things, and uh, once you've made sure you've tightened all the connections onto the manifold, it's really simple and very quick to check to make sure you get yourself a spanner and make sure all the connections are nice and tight uh, on the manifold. Make sure you've nipped everything up nice and tight and make sure the isolation valves on the end of this manifold are in a closed position. Now the simplest and easiest way to do filling and venting and pressure testing is using the fill and vent points at the end of the manifold. Now we've got put the water temperature control and pump set on the left hand side here because that's where the pipe works coming in. But it's very easy to orientate and put this on the right hand side if you need to. The simple and easy Upanor Union connections allow you then just to swivel and move this to the other side and swap the manifold over. Very simple and straightforward to do. The fill and vent ports then have got a little cap on the end. So by undoing the cap, you've actually got a very small key and the key operates the fill and vent port at the end. And you just need to open those fill and vent ports then and attach a hose to them. Now the simplest and easiest way to do that is to use a standard three-quarter BSP hose lock connector you get from most DIY shops or DIY sheds. And it just needs to be hand tightened onto the end of the manifold. Now when you're filling and venting underfloor heating systems, it's very important that you fill each circuit one by one. So we're going to isolate the circuits individually and we're going to fill them systematically, either from left to right or from right to left. But it's important that we fill the circuits one by one. And generally, the easiest way to do that is to attach it to an outside water, like a hose pipe or anything like that really, from an outside tap. And we're going to fill water at the top and we're going to vent the air out the bottom. And we need to do it in that sequence because the way the flow meters work on the manifold. And as water goes over him, it pulls the plunger down. So you don't want to fill at the bottom and vent at the top, like you'll probably do on a radiator system. We're going to fill at the top and vent out the bottom. Now to allow us to do them one by one, what we need to do is pull off all the little flow meter caps on the top of the manifold, on this four loop manifold, and just open them up fully to a fully open position until it comes to a stop. And all those ports are now open. But what we'll do, we'll control the flow of water into each individual circuit by opening and closing this little decorator's cap, which will open and close a small pin on the manifold. So what we'll do is close them all off one by one and leave the very first port on the right hand side in a fully open position. We'll attach our hose pipe from our outside tap to the top and like I said, you can either attach a secondary hose to a drain, or in this case, we're going to actually attach a small hose into a bucket. So we can actually see the air bubbles coming out, and once we see the water flowing, we'll turn off the first circuit, and then systematically fill and vent each port one by one. So here we go, we're going to attach our hose pipe that's connected to an external outside tap. Uh, make sure your fill and vent point is open here. Uh, open this second one here and in this case as we said we're going to connect then uh, our secondary piece of hose pipe where we're going to vent the the air out of the system this time into a bucket so we can exactly see what's going on so with the first loop open then as we start to introduce the water you can see the the flow rate plunger has dropped down just to confirm there's water flowing on that particular first circuit all the other circuits are currently off and we're venting that air then into a bucket and we're just waiting for them to get a continual flow of water going through the system once we've got that continual flow of water, that circuit is then filled and we can turn off that first particular one. And we can then introduce the second loop to the party. Now again, repeating the process, we've got air bubbles coming through into our bucket and we've got water flowing down that particular flow meter. Now once we've got a consistent flow and all the circuits filled individually, I would go back and reintroduce all of the other remaining loops back into the vent and then turn off 
the hose that's going to the drain. If you isolate that hose then, we can remove that hose. And then isolate the water supply coming to the manifold. And then we're going to capture in the system mains pressure that's filled and vented these loops. And this will lead us on to pressure testing the installation very shortly. So thanks for watching this video. Um, if you need any help or assistance with your installation, you can always pop onto YouTube and look at some of the other Upanor videos that are on there. Alternatively, you can contact Upanor at www.upanor.co.uk. Thanks for watching.